Welcome to another PFL test. Today, guys, we're going to show you how to go ahead and simply put some normal details onto your meshes inside of Substance Painter 2.1 and more than likely the later versions as well. Um, this is not super difficult to do. Um, there just wasn't like a super short and quick video out there on how to do this, so I figured I'd go ahead and make it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating a new layer, and it's going to be a fill layer, and we're going to go ahead and disable the color, roughness, metal, and normal of the material. And the reason I'm doing the normal is because the height map will actually end up being part of our normal map when we export out our textures. So you don't need to worry about that. It'll automatically create that based on whatever your need may be. So once you've done that, uh, we're going to go ahead and right click and go to add black mask. Now I would suggest doing all of this stuff before and, and adding in all of your details before you actually start texturing and putting in color and materials to your um, mesh. So once you've done that, you then have this alphas uh, shelf down here in the corner, and you can use all of these different shapes to uh, essentially create on your mesh. Now if you go back to this little, uh, you can click between your black mask and the original layer, on the height information, left is going to be um, uh, uh, minus, <laughs> essentially, and going up on the scale will be plus. So we're going to go ahead and minus all the way down to one, go back to our black scale, and you'll see here that now we can increase our brush size by hitting the bracket key, and if I just click here once, you'll see it's actually doing a cutout, and I can actually go down into the other corner down here and click again, and you'll see there that it actually makes a cutout via height map. So you can do things like this, um, grabbing vectors like, let's just say these vents here, if you already happen to have an alpha that you like, and bam, it's now on to your mesh. And you can put these anywhere that you like on the mesh, any direction, etc., etc. And it's really, really simple to do. And as I said, if you look at these closely, they are actually going negative, even though they're a flat image. Now, if you go back to your layer, you can actually change this depth by going like this. If you want to make those extrude, instead of the opposite way. Now you could do this with normal maps as well um, in a different program, you know, baking out your normal maps, but I've noticed that this really allows me to get some detail work done very quickly, and I would highly recommend that you guys do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson on PFL Tuts, and we'll see you next time.